All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the automotive spray gun kit from Harbor Freight. This is the HVLP, the high volume, low pressure paint gun set. Uh, while I was there, I was also able to get some paint strainers and also picked up some disposable paint cups uh, these are supposed to fit the the kit uh, I know it fits the the bigger gun but it doesn't fit the smaller gun and also picked up a respirator Now all these were picked up from Harbor Freight, so I'm going to be pretty much reviewing all this stuff, but the main review is going to be for the spray gun set. Now, I've been looking for reviews for this gun out on YouTube and I haven't found any good ones, so I'm going to do a review on it and... I am going to be using some dupli color lacquer paint. Um, it's a little bit thick. Lacquer is like an older style paint for like older cars and stuff like that. But it's it's a good paint all in all. But, uh, I'm gonna show real quick what you get with this spray gun kit. So you get your uh, instructions, of course, and that's pretty much it. There's your two guns there. That's your. This one's your detail. This is your big gun, and this one's your smaller detail. Now the smaller one comes with a one millimeter tip, and the big gun actually comes with two. You can change the tips. So it comes with two tips, uh, one's a 1.8 for like primer and thicker stuff and then you get a 1.4 tip. Now the instructions pretty much say operating pressure is from 30 to 35 psi for the large gun and 25 to 30 psi for the small gun. Uh, also 9 CFM at 35 PSI for the big gun and 5 CFM at 30 PSI for the small gun. Now they both have quarter inch um, national pipe thread and they include a this spanner wrench right here for taking to ex, uh, change your tips and all that. And also for putting your adapters on your guns. And a little filter, of course, right here. You also get this uh, brush right here. It looks like a toothbrush. Another brush. I'm going to leave this in the case. Your tip, of course, and your needle. So that's pretty much everything that's included with the HVLP spray gun kit. Also, from what I can see here, on the small little gun, on the detail gun, the paint cup is threaded. There's no metal adapter like the large gun. Like this is the large one. The large paint gun for the large uh, the large paint cup for the large paint gun, and you can actually see there's a metal insert there. Uh, the small detail one. I don't know how durable this little cup's gonna be. Uh, I didn't see any replacement cups for this model. 
uh, all in all, I'm, if it comes down to where this messes up, like especially threading in here, or if I do get any leaks, I will have to probably make one out of aluminum or something. But just from, you know, first impressions, the detail gun, the cup is a little, a little weird. I would say make sure you do um, insert when you're going to use a detail gun, insert, you know, your paint cup and careful with the threads because this plastic seems pretty cheap. You might actually strip the threads on it. I hope I don't. No, it's going pretty fine. But that's a small gun right there. Now for the large gun, I'm going to be using the disposable paint cups. Now these ones do have a plastic thread on there, but it's pretty much uh, a one-time use anyways. So I'm not going to be using the cup that's included with the, with the kit. Um, I kind of wish these ones would have fit the small one. Or they had small disposable cups for the detail gun. Uh, also, they do make a, a metal cup for the large gun that's available through Harbor Freight. That one's like $60.99, but I'm just going to pretty much review this. Um, if it doesn't work out to, you know, be a good paint kit or, you know, something happens, hopefully it don't, I'll just end up taking it back, but... Anyways, that's that's the view of the uh, paint kit and everything that's included. Anyways, I'm going to get to putting some paint in this gun and shoot a couple layers, and we'll see how it comes out. Alright, so I was here getting ready to paint. Um, thank goodness I didn't open the paint yet, but I hooked everything up. I hooked up the air to the large air gun. And I had to remove this part here and this part. Now, when I hooked up the air, it was leaking. Now, usually I'll check my fittings and see what's the problem or what's going on, but upon further removing the parts to look at it, you can see on this part it has a lot of rust. I mean, that's a lot of rust. Now, I don't know if somebody actually used this paint gun. Somebody must have washed it up, cleaned it up, used it once, and took it back to Harbor Freight or something. Or unless it came like this you know straight from China but I mean even the spring um, has rust on it and a further inspection even the pin where where it lets the air into the gun now this wasn't getting a good seal and this spring wasn't pushing it far enough inwards because it was letting it leak through the through the tapered edge here now this is supposed to be springed forward and it pushes to seal the uh, air in so that the air doesn't travel through the gun while you're not using it well this thing was staying stuck there's not enough pressure here but also upon removal on the back part check this out there's only three or two or three threads on there now the rest of them are gone and they don't look like they've been stripped at all they just look like it was part of the manufacturing process where it wasn't threaded all the way or something was wrong with the machine when they made this part because it goes in there and just um, two turn or yeah two full turns and it's tightened in there now this should have a lot of turns. You should be able to turn this a lot of times. It should be threaded all the way. See? 
now the inside I can't see any of that purple stuff or any of the aluminum so this part is pretty much defective um, I don't know it's weird it seems like somebody used this before but I mean the gun is really nice and clean I'm not sure um, there is some wear marks here it looks like somebody could have cleaned it or I mean if it was new I actually when I go to Harbor Freight I myself go and get stuff from the back shelf because sometimes these there's people that'll use stuff from Harbor Freight and then they'll go back and return them and then they'll just put them back in the shelf and that's why they ask you upon returning something is it in working condition um, or some people will be like yeah yeah I just didn't need it or I didn't but they used it and and buttholes like that screw it up for the rest of us because when they do that they end up putting the item back on the shelf thinking that it still works that they didn't use it because it looks like they just took it back and it's still brand new still clean and, and what ends up happening is another user goes out there and gets screwed in the end they end up buying a used item or something but it does look like it's used I don't know it's kind of weird um, I don't think this is I mean it looks like they actually cleaned it and washed it with water because there's no way that rust could have built up on the anodized aluminum like that if what happened was the rust it rusted on the spring now water and steel pretty much make rust so at one time or another this had water in there so I'm gonna try to repair this and finish the rest of the video but my review on this so far I if they're coming in like this and they're leaking I mean that's that's not good at all uh, I, I live a hundred miles over a hundred miles away from my nearest Harbor Freight and when I go buy this stuff you know I expect it to be new and working condition but you know sometimes the Chinese quality you know it's broken right before it comes out of the box so you know it kind of pisses me off because I'm so far away and if I were to send it in through the mail and that I won't get one until who knows when and by that time you know I'm trying to paint my motorcycle and I don't have you know I'm trying to do it before the weather warms up too much and then I get a whole bunch of uh, bugs and stuff flying into my paint and stuff because I'm not doing this in a paint booth <sighs> so yeah that sucks right there but I'm gonna try to repair it and I will be taking this back um, when I if I repair it and you know, if I can get some uses out of it, I will take it back, but I will make sure to tell them that the item is defective. I was able to fix it, and, I mean, it's not leaking air anymore. shouldn't be, but there's a defect on the threads, and I am going to take it back after I use it, but I am going to demonstrate. Let's see, no more leaks. So I finally fix, fixed the leak on it, but I am going to demonstrate how it paints. Um, that's pretty much what the review is about. But, you know, you beware because the threads have a defect, especially on this one. Um, what I can see, it's a manufacturer's defect, so there must be a bad batch of these going around, so... Uh, I'm going to get to painting and we'll see how it comes out. I think I got the settings right, but uh, comparing this real quick to my gravity fed, fed regular paint gun from uh, Campbell Housefield, that actually seems much better than this one, but we'll see how it comes out.